Envision stepping outside and listening to the soft rustle of leaves on the branch of a tree, swaying in the breeze. You see birds nearby, tripping quietly. You feel the sensation of grass under your feet. The bright sun shines down on you, warming your skin. But as you go to breathe in a deep breath of fresh air, you realize that the air pollution in the air around you limits you from doing so. More than 91% of the world's population breathes in air pollution each day. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, 68 million tons of air pollution were emitted into the atmosphere in the U.S. in 2020 alone. Air pollution is harmful to people's health and the environment. Harmful gases that are released into the air can damage vegetation, decrease the amount of growth, and cause plants to become more prone to diseases. As stated by the Center of Science Education, some types of air pollution can cause the climate to warm, while others have a temporary cooling effect. Since there is poisonous smog we breathe in in the atmosphere, the more likely it could affect the lungs, brain, and heart. My name is Juliet Terranova, and I'm here to address the issue of air pollution. It is vital to inform others why air pollution is negatively affecting the earth so we can participate in helping reduce the amount of pollution contaminating the air we breathe in each day. If air pollution was addressed, then the air in our environment would not cause so many health risks and smog in the environment. Plants would be healthier and flourish. Climate change would not be as big as a, a concern because the air temperatures would not be changing as much and everyone could breathe in cleaner air. Everyone can help decrease the amount of air pollution if they save energy, use compost, minimize the number of rides taken in cars, lessen or eliminate wood stove and fireplace use, and avoid gas power lawn equipment as well. As stated by the Energy Policy Institute at the University of Chicago, air pollution is a greater threat to life expectancy than smoking, HIV, or war. If we address this situation by using these helpful resources, we'd be taking a step further to saving the earth. According to the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency, air pollution causes shortness of breath, coughing, chest pain, and fatigue. Exposure to air pollution sources like busy roadways, woodboarding equipment, automobiles, gas-fueled yard equipment, and chemicals we use in our homes affect us as well. We should care about addressing this issue because air pollution can result in serious health issues and hurt the environment. The more others become educated on this issue, the better we'd be taking care of the silent killer that claims 7 million lives each year. There are many ways to take action on behalf of this issue, such as planting new trees, keeping your automobile in good condition, or even using hand or electric powered lawn equipment. If everyone spent some time helping decrease air pollution, it would benefit the earth positively, and we could all take part in breathing cleaner air.